You're watching Chadronic. This video is about the greatest invention of all time, besides my YouTube channel. This is the bestest invention ever created. It solves world hunger. It solves world peace. It solves how to how to transfer your Nintendo Me data to a new console. It solves everything. I'm just kidding. It doesn't actually solve any of those things. It actually does something that's much, much, much better. It's an invention. Get ready for this. It's an invention that turns your hot dog into a little man shape. Yes! Finally! Yeah! Hot dogs. They're as American as baseball and apple pie. But what makes a hot dog more than just a hot dog? Introducing the Happy Hot Dog Man. It brings ordinary hot dogs to life, making lunchtime more fun. <laughs> Nothing makes eating hot dogs any more fun than making the food that I eat more human-like. This promotes cannibalism. Low-key, this promotes cannibalism. I don't want the food that I eat to resemble uh, a human being. I'd rather just uh, stay wiener-shaped. Th that did not s that did not sound right. Just put your hot dog into the Happy Hot Dog Man and close the lids. The Happy Hot Dog Man makes a happy imprint on your hot dog. Now you're ready to cook it into a fun Happy Hot Dog Man figure that can be decorated and eaten. It's like a toy you can eat. It's like a toy you can eat. <laughs> How is this like a toy you can eat? If this is like a toy to you, you probably have not had many things to play with growing up. If if a hot waggling a hot dog that looks like a human, if that's if that's your idea of fun, I guess I won't judge, but I do not uh, covet your childhood. Classic dogs, beef dogs, turkey dogs, veggie dogs. The Happy Hot Dog Man does them all. You can make them into little like girls or boys and decorate them in clothes and everything. Oh my God! Not only have we just made these more human-like, we're assigning them genders now. What's next? Hot dog, happy hot dog man pets? Is that next? Maybe that will be like the mini hot dogs. They could be like the pets. Pets for it. Uh, guys who made this commercial, you can hire me. You can hire me if you want. You don't have, you should. You should hire me. Add ketchup, mustard, relish, cheese. Make them any way you please. The Happy Hot Dog Man is so easy to use, kids can do it. It's so easy to use, kids can do it. It's safe. It's safe for kids. Kids can do it. Although that probably wouldn't be safe for me as a kid. Because it wouldn't take me very long to get the idea of what happens if you stick your finger in it. And then, and then you clamp it. Do you have a happy... Uh, finger man. Kids can do it. <laughs> this is not safe for children. Happy Hot Dog Man is awesome. Take your family's food from boring to scoring. Make it a game to dress your dog the best and vote which one is the wiener. We all end up acting like kids at dinner. I like how these kids are looking at their hot dogs. Like this, the presentation uh, of this is awful. I do not want to consume this. I would rather just play with it. It's all about the presentation when you want to play with the food. But when you make a hot dog and you put it in a bun, you're just supposed to freaking eat it. You're not supposed to make it into a fashion show. What the frick? That's what dinner time is about, kids. It's not about consuming your food for your own survival. It's about who can make the best happy hot dog, man. You vote and you, you'll have your wiener. That's a joke I stole straight from the commercial. Make your dinner a wiener with the Happy Hot Dog Man. You can find out about free shipping when you upgrade your order. And we'll double the offer to four Happy Hot Dog Men. And we'll also include a bonus ketchup critter and mustard monster. Pay separate $6.99 processing fee. A bonus ketchup critter and mustard monster. What the frick is that? They attach to your existing bottles and make decorating your Happy Hot Dog Man even more fun. This is ridiculous. You know what I do with my food? At dinner time, I eat it. That's that's what dinner time is all about. It's not about this. It's not. A, it's not an a, an art craft project. This is unproductive. This is making dinner time take twice as long. We love Happy Hot Dog Man. 
Now, if that's a birthday party I'd like to have, I would like to have a Happy Hot Dog Man themed birthday party. Now, that does, that actually does sound fun. But if you think this is just a funny, quirky little invention that only a few people bought, you're wrong. This thing blew the frick up! It created what they called a hot dog evolution. May I introduce you to Earth's new supreme leader, Happy Hot Dog Man, the master of the universe. Call it a hot dog evolution. Just in time for the 4th of July, thanks to a local man who got bored one day. Yeah, tonight the happy hot dog man is taking over the nation. Sales are soaring. Channel 4 Action News reporter Michelle Wright just talked to the inventors, Michelle. Yes, it was a fun day. You know, as a news reporter, a career highlight would be doing a news report that talks about changing the shape of a hot dog. I guess I'm not in any better position. I'm a YouTuber now talking about changing the shape of a hot dog. Two local men are on the verge of turning their fun idea into something really big. Almost 10 years after they first began, they're just now getting some big time national attention and they're encouraging people to play with their food. They cooked up the idea at a church camp. John on the right was a counselor. Dan was a camper. <laughs> they came up with this idea at a church camp. But what more appropriate occasion uh, to just start messing with the shape of hot dogs. It's a church camp. The device stamps the dog first, and then when you boil or grill it, the arms and legs curl out. Kids can then use condiments to decorate their person. They knew kids would like it, but were surprised to see how many adults did too. Of course adults are going to enjoy this. We enjoy playing with wieners more than anybody. This clip may or may not make it into the video. It's a little bit surreal, to be honest, right? We, we recognize we're not solving uh, world hunger or curing a disease. We're just making something fun for kids. You're not solving world hunger. You're not finding a cure to a disease. And you're not even creating something fun for kids. What you're doing is mutilating every hot dog in existence. You're trying to erase an entire race. You're mutilating hot dogs. <coughs> <laughs> May I introduce you to Earth's new supreme leader, Happy Hot Dog Man, the master of the universe. All right, that's it. I've seen enough. I'm sold. We got to try this out. Welcome to this special mini episode of Cooking with Chef Tronic. I'm going to be showing off and demonstrating to you guys how to use uh, the Happy Hot Dog Man. I've got both the yellow and red versions right here. Uh, it looks like they changed the name or something. It says the original Frank Former. But I don't care what you call this. This to me now is forever known as... Happy Hot Dog Man. Oh, I almost forgot. We also got these things They were that were advertised. Uh, the Ketchup Critter and Mustard Monster. Bring your hot dog to life. You know, that's something I've always wanted to do. I just have always wished that there was a way I could bring my hot dog to life. This is the answer, kids. I don't think, I, I don't think this works on fingers. This is actually is starting to hurt, though. Okay, we're going to place the wiener inside. Here we go, I guess. You do the first... Little layer there, and the second layer, and we're gonna press down. I don't think the product works right away as you pull it out. It cuts it. Look at that cute little face right there. Okay, it says to get it to take shape or whatever. You gotta place it in a microwave to get it to like take shape or whatever. Surprisingly enough, it seemed to actually work as advertised, and this is our happy hot dog man. First up, we're gonna try the ketchup critter, which strangely resembles uh, Satan. This says it will work on most bottles. Uh, we'll see if that's uh, true. Looks like it's gonna fit. That missed the plate uh, just a little bit there. If you ever wanted the blood of Satan on your food or your hot dog, 
There you go. Now we'll try the mustard monster. What the heck? This one won't go on. Okay, for some reason, the mustard one doesn't fit on the mustard bottle, but it does fit on uh, this on this miracle whip. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Two little booger strands. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to announce, uh, unrelated to this video. Um, I know a lot of you are familiar with Peanut Butter Gamer. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, you, some of you have seen me do a video with him on this channel previously. Uh, he does a show called Minecraft Hardcore on his gameplay channel. Uh, I'm in it this season. I'm in it. I'm in the show. I'm in the show. I am the star of the show. Okay, maybe that's debatable. But I'll put a link uh, in the description if you want to go check out Minecraft Hardcore. Like I said, I'm in it. It will also be in uh, one of the two videos at the end of this video if you just want to wait and then click on it there. I'll put it there as well. Uh, and if you don't know what Minecraft Hardcore is, just click on the video and you'll figure it out. It's, it explains itself. Go to it and tell PBG that I love him. I can't believe I've made this announcement wearing this outfit.